MCA Championship round five, Hawkstone Park. We've got the usuals, Ken's, Liam, Grace. They're battling out for their championships. We've got the European, newly crowned European women's champion, Lucy Barker, who's turned up. Show them, uh, show them what the pace is like up there. So it'll be a good test for Grace to see where she sits at, um, at the EMXs that we're talking about getting her to. <laughs> <laughs> the best way to support us is by buying our merch. We've got some new hats, we've got socks back in, and we've got the rucksacks that you see us walking around with that are the perfect size for travel, I will say. They are absolutely bang on the size of an easy jet, small cabin, hold all, but they hold everything. So, supporting us, this is how we get about, this is how we buy our new camera lenses like we had one go down the other day. This keeps us topped up and actually here filming. So if you love our content, please buy from our store. We're at round five at Hawkstone Park for the Sunday. We've got three races and a qualifying today. Went out in qualifying, uh, pulled a fourth, uh, third out of MX2, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, weather is a bit, not the best light, but we'll see what we can do. Last round I went in obviously with a four point lead. Uh, first race, me and Ken's both had a DNF which was all right, I guess. And then second race, I had another DNF, three laps in, the clutch went. Um, it's put me on the back foot massively with 21 points down, but uh, we'll see what we can do, we'll see what we can work with. We've got Lennox Dickinson, Joel Fisher, Rory's trying to get in. There's a few quick boys there, but um, I'm happy with my qualifying. Is this about you being sick? Oh, mate, I just had like the biggest shot of adrenaline you've ever had. I just couldn't control it, so something had to happen. <laughs> Qualified second, but there was a bit of confusion with the lap times, the transponders were mixed up. There's some different riders than normal. Uh, Lucy Barker just won European, so I'm just trying to get my pace up. Um, Lauren May Collin wants to hear a couple of other quick riders that I'm not normally racing against, so it's good to kind of switch it up. Um, just the main goal is first, but I'll be happy with anything top three. Just trying to learn, it's, it's all a big learning curve. She's obviously over in Europe a lot, so she knows more lines, stuff like that, fitness. So just trying to tag on, get my pace up. It rained right before our qualifying, so it's quite, the front end was literally slippy. But I think it'll hold up decent. It's gonna have to be a bit smoother rather than aggressive, but I like I like rain riding. We've had a good practice the last couple of weeks in it as well, so it should be good. The fastest race of the day. It's coming. MX2 open. It's a plus one.
first run before it got red flagged, come out the gate, uh, span a little bit, got on the right jump, come round and uh, had a small crash, but luckily it got red flagged because uh, everyone decided to go right instead of up the hill, which paid in my favour, so the next start I come in a bit more, sort of feathered it off the start and then opened it up, come round in I think fourth in MX2, I'll be right in saying that, uh, got myself up to first in MX2, um, was doing all right, pulling through, and to be fair, I got a bit of arm pump, which slacked me off, and got passed for third on the last lap by Rory. I didn't realise how close they were to me, to be fair, but it happens, doesn't it? So, but I beat Ken's, that's all that matters. I've got a two points back on him, which is better than nothing. So we'll see what we can do on the next race. <laughs> the gate it was pretty close to be fair I tried to just stick on the back of Lucy didn't last very long to be fair but I'm happy with our road I think it's bet way better than last week and um, considering I've not I'm I'm not really doing any big events I'm as close as I want to be um, I think if I didn't if I rode a bit more I could be on the pace Lucy's doing the Europeans I think I was I was five seconds off a lap or something, maybe more, but I'm happy with our road. I think I can ride a bit smoother, faster. I just need to get a bit stronger in the gym. But yeah, hopefully I can narrow it down in the next races. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Moto 2, it, massive rainstorm. As soon as the gates dropped, they were sidewards. Um, so, bad start. Worked my way through back to second. Times were better, but um, suffering with a, a leaky fork seal. Third race, bad start again. Worked my way through to second again. With Lucy come here, it gives you kind of um, a benchmark of where he needs to push to, and it doesn't seem too high. If we get training in the gym, I reckon I could push and maybe battle next season. It's a um, good reality check, really. Then, uh, Will Hughes. Then Liam Gale. Then Ray Rawson. We had a good start and then I was in third and then by the end of the lap it got red flagged and then on the restart it was a really poor start. Uh, struggled to get through everyone, just kind of stuck behind everyone. Uh, I didn't I felt like I was getting like kicked around all the time by the bike. So yeah, we finished fourth in that one. We did catch up right behind everyone though. And then so our suspension guys here, Mar from RSS, so he did some suspension changes, definitely a confidence booster after that first race. But yeah, the back set helped so much. I, I didn't get arm pump as much. And yeah, I felt good. We gained some points on Liam this round. I'm not sure how many, but uh, yeah, we just every round we're just gonna keep coming back, trying our best, and well. It's going pretty good at the moment, so hopefully we continue that going on for the rest of the two races. It is. Hey, now we know why you put it on the box. Moto 2, uh, I had um, a terrible start actually. I think I came round like 6 from the back. Managed to pull the leaders in, got right on the back of them. Stupidly, I should have gauged it and followed, but got a bit carried away and tried going for the pass and sort of like went from the left of the track to the right, jumped off the side of the jump. And that was all she wrote on that one. I think I got a fourth. Um, and then so race three, had an all right start, got held up, yeah. um, a got some clear space, sort of ABT got the gap sponsor. down to six well seconds of Ken's. And then a tabletop across the back, I sort of was trying to adjust my uh, clutch lever and Two to go. missed a rut and, and it's gonna be bike was stuck on me, it was burnt on my ass, but so in it's all part of the story. I feel like I was the probably the strongest I've ever rode, especially around Hawkstone. Um, and I feel like I was I was definitely one of the fastest in MX2 today, place, if not the fastest, but because Cat put, seems to put it together, seven. but the speed's there, it's just keeping it on two wheels really. Why do you think that is? What's going on? Um, I feel like I've met that next step and I'm still pushing to get to where I want to be and obviously pushing with that comes mistakes. If I was making the mistakes I'd be comfortable with my riding and I'm never going to be comfortable so I mean it's not all lost but I'm 31 or 32 points down. I mean it can still happen, you never know what's going to happen but we'll see, we'll see what comes of it.